Hello everybody. In this video I will reluctantly be showing you how to do he Morgoth skip, yet again. This skip is honestly harder than just killing Morgoth however. Doing this skip is necessary if you're trying to do a maidenless run, because even if you kill Morgoth, if you don't talk to Melina, the Golden Gate won't disappear. That's quite annoying honestly, but whatever. All you need to do this is, Agil's Flame or any other named dragon incantation, since those ones are the only ones you can use in the air. You should also have a good amount of cerulean flasks, so you can replenish your FP. And last but not least, the patience of a fucking monk. Now, from the stairs, run at the second brazier on the right side. You want to jump into the wall at the patch of grass on the stairs, and let the wall guide you above the corner of the brazier. Once you're above the first corner of the brazier, activate a Giel's flame. Then start jumping while moving towards the tower behind the brazier. If you did it right, you'll jump off the corner and onto the tower. If not, you'll slide off or you'll just fall to your death. I know you have something to say and I know you're eager to say it, so I'll get right to the point. Shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear it. Which is even more unfortunate than just failing. Now you got to make to run back. So once you get on the tower, Jump into the brazier, then walk across the railing carefully and jump onto the tower by the flower pot, then onto the flower pot, then line up with this taller pillar and jump onto the middle of it. If you're too far on either side, you'll just slide off, then move forward a bit and jump onto the next brazier. Now, jump up and hold B to charge your run, then run and jump to the next brazier. The hardest parts are all done. Now, jump onto the gate tower behind this brazier and hug the wall while slowly making your way around the gate. One you're on the other side, run into the wall, and quickly move towards the railing and jump. Once you land on the railing, pray to whatever god will answer your prayers, because you'll have to run past. This horsey, which is probably the hardest part in my opinion, the amount of times I died trying to run past this guy on my low-level character is insane, mostly because of the archer, if I'm being honest. So the way to avoid him is to go to the far right once you drop on the other side of the gate. Then you just need to run straight for a little bit, then move to the left side and jump over the railing, then the statue, then keep running. Doing this make it so you don't aggro the archer and gives you extra time to run away from the horse. Obviously, I have more stamina than those of you who truly need this video, but I'm pretty sure you'd be able to conserve your stamina well if you made it this far while maidenless. You could also just, you know, jump backwards away from the horse, because that works too. Probably much easier for most people. Anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you somehow made it to this point, then thanks for sticking around. If you did happen to find this video helpful, then please like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel and mean a lot to me. Until next time.